there's been a bit of a scorched earth policy and you're not happy. Uh, yeah, I first noticed them clearing the path uh, further down the track and uh, they were doing this very low, uh, almost clearing out absolutely everything up to your knee height and uh, I realised that maybe they weren't, you know, didn't understand the potential impact on all our wildlife because these tracks are, you know, a, a, a abundant supply of food and uh, a habitat for our wildlife in the area. So I contacted them seeing if we could perhaps, uh, you know, work towards a, a more wildlife friendly approach. Uh, they weren't very interested, uh, but I've continued on and I uh, haven't got very far. And as you can see, they've cleared out lots of this vegetation here. When you say they, who do you mean by they? Uh, Far Up Council. I got directly in contact with Far Up Council and said, you know, uh, can I help you? You know, let's, why don't we try and work something together to uh, improve this habitat? But, but there's a lot of cycle tracks to clear and keep tidy and for most people walking here just want to keep it tidy. Most people in Shafford or anywhere won't be that bothered about habitat or not, will they? Uh, well some do because people who I know who I've mentioned it to have been amazed at how uh, strong and heavy the clearance has been here. Because these hedgerows, there's a lot of native hedgerows here which are very important, hall form, black form, that kind of thing. And they've been absolutely stripped right the way down. And they provide an abundant supply of food. There's insects, there's invertebrates in there, there's the birds nesting in here. And in the trees just over here, there were magpies which have now uh, abandoned their nest site. Is this the first time something like this has happened or come to your attention? Uh, I noticed it uh, about a year or so ago on another cycle track and I didn't think too much of it because I thought oh, it was only a fairly short one. I thought oh, maybe they'll just do one at a time every now and then but that one hasn't even grown back up. So all the habitat there is completely lost. We're losing beautiful butterflies like the green hair streak which is quite unusual for this, uh, uh, for this part of uh, the neck of the woods. And I know people who have actually travelled here to actually see this. Is this thing about the I've noticed on Twitter recently about lot about wax wings that, that attract people into the area. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, that's a very small uh, bird that normally breeds in places like Norway, uh, Scandinavia, and across in, even into Russia. And every now and then you have an eruption year, and thousands have been descending in this area. And I've been counting up to 150 birds in this area. And they feed on the bushes here, and then they travel into Lakeside to feed on the bushes there. Then they go into graze. So it's part of a network. And obviously, if you start destroying one set of habitat they're less likely to uh, use it and I know there's been streams of bird watchers coming down here following my messages I've put out about where the wax wings are. So it's one of the questions I guess to the council about you know I see a lot sometimes in council meetings and committees about biodiversity and green green challenges so I guess how does this how does this stand with that with that commitment? Well, it's a quite a contrast against it because part of their biodiversity action plan is to maintain natural hedgerows and already we've seen along here quite a lot of the natural hedgerows have been completely wiped out. There's a few native trees standing but the actual main hedgerows are completely gone. There's uh, red data species on here which are being affected, stuff like linnets breed in the area, song thrushes too as well and uh, even with the non-native plants like the rhododendron bushes here there was a very large communal roost of house sparrows which again is on the red list for conservation and that's a list where it goes set of traffic lights so green is the species are okay amber they're concerned and red is like oh warning warning so a house sparrow is on there with the song thrush and the linnets and they've been obviously clearly affected i've not seen a single house sparrow since they've removed all those bushes down here along this track